Hey beautiful and welcome to another episode of the Manifesting Simplified podcast. Today I want to talk about what I notice in my clients that are successfully manifesting their specific persons back because there's just these common things that I notice in all of the clients that successfully manifest their specific persons back compared to some other people that I see in the online space that seem to have a hard time manifesting their specific persons back and it feels like they're just struggling no matter what they're doing no matter what manifesting technique they're doing or how much they're trying to live in the end of the wish fulfilled or focus on themselves. Over these past few years, I have helped thousands of women and men successfully manifest their dream relationships with their specific persons. Even if their circumstances looked really hopeless at that time and they didn't know how to actually be able to overcome those circumstances, it still worked. No matter if they had been in no contact with that specific person for over six months or if they were blocked on all platforms, uh, their specific person had told them that they don't have any feelings for them anymore and they never want to see them again or even if they were dating someone new. So that specific person was already in a new relationship with another woman or another man. And recently I've had an influx of messages from clients inside my manifestation program called Manifest Your Specific Person Within 21 Days, telling me that they received contact from their specific person or are now in a loving relationship already. And some of those beautiful clients sent me a photo of their engagement rings. So they manifested engagement with that same person that left them and rejected them and told them that they don't have a future together. And all of this happened within just a few weeks or months inside the program. I'm always being amazed by your success stories, so that's why I wanted to break this down today and share with you a few key differences that I notice between the ones that successfully manifest their specific persons back within a short period of time and the ones that have a hard time manifesting their specific person. The first difference that I notice is that the ones that successfully manifest their specific persons back, they are focused on different things. They are not focused on the 3D reality at all, because they understand that the 3D reality, the things that they see going on today, the circumstances, the situations, and the lack of their specific person showing up, for example, they are just a reflection of their own inner world. I feel like the ones that have a hard time manifesting their specific persons are often really externally focused. They are really focusing on what's going on in the outside world and checking in with their 3D reality each day. And then when they don't see any movement, they start spiraling and they start making it mean something about them. They start questioning whether they're doing it right and they often end up feeling like shit because they let the outside world dictate how they feel. And then it's just this endless cycle because they're seeking something from the outside world to make them feel better to make them feel validated, right? They're looking for that movement, looking for signs that their manifestation is working so that they can feel better about themselves, so that they can relax. The mindset of these people are often, I need this specific person right now. I need my manifestation to happen right in this moment. I cannot wait any longer just so that they can get that validation. And they're doing a manifesting technique here and there, and then they're checking in with their 3D reality or looking at their specific person's social media. And because they don't see any changes, they're like, oh, yeah, it's not working. And so they're trying to push even harder often. They're trying to, like, make things happen. Whereas the ones that successfully manifest their specific persons back in a short period of time, they are not focused on what's happening in their reality. They don't really care. They're not at all looking in the external world. Instead, what they're doing is that they're focused on how they are feeling internally. 
And so their mindset is more like, I don't need it to happen right now. I don't need my specific person to come back right now because I already feel good, because I already validate myself and because I got my back. And so they're more so focused on how can they make themselves feel even better today, not to get something, not to get that specific person back, but just because they understand that they are the most important person in their own lives. And if they don't take care of themselves, nobody else is going to take care of them either. They want their specific person, but they are good in this moment as well. So they're focused on their inner state. They're focused on feeling good. And this doesn't mean that you have to feel good every single day. That's not what this means. But it's like they understand that their reality is just a mirror. So everything is just a reflection. So it's kind of like when you look at yourself in the mirror every morning and you see the reflection of your body, it's the same thing with your 3D reality. It's just that there's often a time lag. But you see the reflection of your belief system, of your stories, your thoughts, of what you have been focusing on and your emotional state, the inner state that you're embodying through your external world. So through the circumstances, situations going on in your life and also through the people that you're attracting and how they are showing up. But often there's this lag time, so that means that it doesn't happen just like this. Because when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see the reflection immediately. But when it comes to changing your 3D reality, there's often a lag time. So it's not like you focus on yourself today. You show up for yourself today. You change your belief system or your self-concept today. And then all of a sudden, you will see that being reflected back to you already tomorrow. There's often at least a few weeks where you have to stay consistent, where you have to still show up in your power, even if you don't see any changes in the external world. And then boom, everything starts shifting and changing around you, just like that. So the clients that successfully manifest their specific person's back, they're not focusing on their 3D reality at all. They're also not focusing on their specific person because they understand that the more they are focusing on their specific person and the more that they are obsessing over that person, the more lack they are actually creating for themselves. So they know that the more they are focusing on their specific person, the more they're not going to get what they want. They're not going to get their specific person back from that state. Their reality is going to reflect more lack back to them. And so it looks like their specific person is moving away even more, like pulling away, distancing themselves and this is, of course, just an illusion because the moment you turn inwards and you start focusing on yourself and changing your belief system and how you see yourself and what you believe to be true about love and relationships, that's really the moment when everything starts shifting in the 3D reality. So my clients that successfully manifest their specific person's back, they're not giving their power away to anything outside of themselves. They don't give their power away to any circumstances, any situations, or any perceived roadblocks along the manifestation journey. They're not playing the victim of their reality. They understand that they hold the power, so they take their power back, and they show up in their power every single day, and they don't make excuses for why they can't get their specific persons back. They don't focus on the circumstances like, yeah, they're blocked. Yeah, their specific person is already in a new relationship. Yeah, they haven't spoken to that person for six plus months. They don't make these things mean anything about what they get to have. They're also not waiting for things in the external world to change. They're not waiting for anything to shift in the 3D reality. They're not waiting for that movement. They're often not even looking for signs or synchronicities to be like, yeah, now I'm on the right track. 
So they're not waiting for any evidence that things are working out, that their manifestation is coming. They're not focused on the 3D reality at all. They're just focused on how they are feeling internally. And so instead of waiting for things to shift, instead of waiting for that evidence and uh, waiting for that movement to know that they're on the right track, what they're actually doing is that they are watching, they are observing. They're observing and they're looking at their belief system. They're asking themselves, who is the version of me that created all of these circumstances and situations and these patterns in love and relationships in the first place? What must that person believe to be true about themselves? Because they understand that all of these things are just a reflection to their own belief system. It's just a reflection to their own self-concept. Because that's how your subconscious mind is creating your reality. Your subconscious mind is always looking to create a reality for yourself that matches its internal beliefs to prove to you that your beliefs are true. To prove to you that you are right. So whatever you believe to be true about yourself and whatever you believe to be true about love and relationships and even about your specific person, that's what you're going to see being reflected in your reality. So these clients that manifest their specific persons back and not only that, get that long lasting, loving, healthy, committed relationship with that person where they get treated properly and they feel chosen, loved, cherished, adored, valued, respected, prioritized, and wanted every single day, they really take this inner work seriously. And they understand that since everything is just a reflection of them, they cannot hold on to any unfavorable ideas or images of their specific person if they want to create something different. If they actually want to create that long-lasting, healthy, committed relationship with that person, they can't hold on to that image of that person being a fuckboy or not being interested in them thinking that that person is just fooling around and not ready for anything serious or for that commitment. Like, it just doesn't work that way. Those things have to match. We have to see our specific person in a favorable way, and we also have to see ourselves in a favorable way. We cannot see ourselves as like being unworthy, not good enough, and feeling like we are never chosen and prioritized in love, while at the same time wanting to manifest a long-lasting, loving, committed relationship. So that's why we need to look at the belief system, and that's why my clients who successfully manifest their specific persons back, they are not focused on the 3D reality, they're instead just focused on their inner world. Because they know that their inner world is creating their outer world. Instead of sticking their heads in the sand and ignoring their 3D reality, they look at their reality and what's going on and ask themselves, what part of me created this in the first place? What must I believe to be true about myself And what must I believe to be true about love and relationships and also about my specific person in order to have created these circumstances, these experiences and these situations in the first place? And then they focus on changing those beliefs after pinpointing them. So they genuinely focus on themselves. And what I mean with this is that they're not thinking, yeah, Let me focus on myself and let me put myself high up on the pedestal and just take care of myself because I know that that's going to help me manifest my specific person. No, it doesn't work that way. If you're there thinking, okay, let me do these things because Paulina told me that that's how I'm going to get my specific person back, it's not going to work. It only works when it comes from a genuine place. When you actually focus on yourself for you, 
when you focus on feeling better just because just because you want to, because you understand that this might be your only life and you don't want to waste this life waiting for something external when all along you have the power to feel better already now. It has to come from within, from you. It has to come from you actually wanting it. You understanding that you're the most important person in your life. You understanding that there's nobody that is going to come and save you. You understanding that if you don't take care of yourself and you don't focus on yourself, nobody is going to do it for you. Nobody is going to focus on you if you don't focus on yourself because everybody else is focusing on themselves. So my clients that successfully manifest their specific persons back, they're not focusing on themselves to get something. They're not focusing on themselves to get that person. They are genuinely focusing on themselves. Do you feel the difference? They are genuinely focusing on themselves to feel better. And often it comes from this fuck it moment. Where they're like, fuck this shit, I've had enough. I've been obsessively focusing on my specific person for months now. I have been focusing on that other person day in and day out. And that person has been on my mind the first thing when I wake up in the morning and the last thing when I fall asleep at night. And it's been going on for like months and I'm just sick and tired of feeling this way. I'm sick and tired of focusing on somebody else that doesn't really seem to be caring about me so much. Focusing on somebody else that is living their own lives, that is having fun, that is enjoying themselves, that is not even reaching out right now. Like it just doesn't make sense. So often it comes from this fuck it moment where you're just like, done. (laughs) You're done with your own shit and you just want to change things, okay? And so this is when focusing on yourself becomes so genuine because you just want to feel good. You want to feel good about yourself and you want to get out of that victim mentality where you have been playing the victim of your reality and you just want to take your power back and not give it to your specific person or to somebody outside of yourself, letting that person dictate how you feel on a daily basis, dictate how you show up. Because when you feel like shit, you're not going to take the same actions as somebody who feels good, right? As somebody who feels like the prize, who feels like the catch, who feels good enough, who feels worthy, who knows that they can have whatever the fuck that they want. And so when you change your belief system and you start seeing yourself in a different way, You will genuinely start focusing on yourself more and naturally place yourself high up on the pedestal because when you know your worth and your value and you know that you're good enough, putting yourself high up on the pedestal is just going to be a byproduct. It's not something that you can get to with your conscious logical mind. There's not a five-step process to put yourself high up on the pedestal. It really comes from changing your belief system and your self-concept, like seeing yourself in a different way and naturally then also feeling differently about yourself. And from doing this inner work, they will naturally place themselves high up on the pedestal and then they just have this deep inner knowing, this confidence that, yeah, of course their specific person is going to come back. Of course they're going to get the commitment. Of course they're going to get the exact treatment that they want from their specific person. Because all of these things are a byproduct of who they are becoming in the process. They are a byproduct of them changing their belief system and their self-concept. And another beautiful thing that also happens is that they're going to reach this level of peace within themselves where they're just feeling so good. It's like they have this deep inner knowing that their specific person is coming back and that they can get exactly what they want from that person 
but they also don't care about when it's going to happen because they feel so good. And they only care about maintaining this level of peace within themselves because they feel like this is priceless. It's like the best feeling ever. And from this space, they're also able to be in the present moment more, which is the receiving state when it comes to manifesting. They are able to relax more because they're out of this fight or flight mode and they're just like in the here and now. This is also where many people are asking, like, how can I be more present? How can I get into the present moment? And it happens naturally when you change your belief system and when you regulate your nervous system. So it's a combination of working with the mind, which is changing your belief system on a subconscious level, and then working with the body, which is the nervous system regulation work. And this is why my manifestation programs and the manifestation club, which is my monthly membership, are so powerful because you get this combination. You get practices and processes for both subconscious reprogramming work, so changing your belief system and your self-concept, and for nervous system regulation work. These are also the things that you get inside the three-week program called Manifest Your Specific Person Within 21 Days. And this is why my clients see massive successes and often see movement with their specific person manifestation after just a few weeks inside the program. And we're talking about clients that have been doing all of the things to get their specific person back and they have seen no movement for like months or even years sometimes. They have been doing all of the viral manifesting techniques, they have been repeating affirmations to themselves, they have been doing tarot card readings and all of these other things and they have seen no changes. And then when they sign up for my Manifest Your Specific Person Within 21 Days program, they finally have this step-by-step process. They have this proven formula to manifest their specific person back. And this is why it works so well. And so my clients that successfully manifest their specific persons back, they just naturally feel happier and feel more relaxed. And this is a combination of subconscious reprogramming work and nervous system regulation work, right? This is something that most people don't talk about, but being able to regulate your nervous system is key when manifesting because when you feel relaxed, you're signaling to the subconscious mind that you're ready, that you're ready for your manifestation. Because so often when we're trying to manifest our specific persons, we're coming from a state of feeling stressed and worried and anxious. We're coming from this state of, oh my God, I need to get them back right now because otherwise I'm going to lose them for good. Because otherwise they're going to find somebody else. And so you're just in this state of feeling anxious and stressed and overwhelmed and like panicky. And this is signaling to your subconscious mind that you're not ready. Because you're signaling to the subconscious mind that you're not safe. And so if you're signaling to the subconscious mind that you're not safe in this moment, and so what your subconscious mind is going to do is it's going to push your specific person further away. It's going to make sure that you're not getting your manifestation. Because your subconscious mind doesn't care about your dreams. It doesn't care about you getting your specific person. What it cares about is that you are safe. And this is why nervous system regulation work is so underrated. And it wasn't until I started doing nervous system regulation work myself that things started shifting like in massive ways in my reality. And I was able to manifest my big desires like moving into a million dollar dream apartment, manifesting a loving relationship with my specific person and manifesting a successful business that is generating six figures. And I manifested all of these things without doing any manifesting techniques. 
I was really just focusing on nervous system regulation work. And this is why inside my programs, we don't focus on doing manifesting techniques. We actually focus more on nervous system regulation work. And so my clients that successfully manifest their specific persons back, they are focusing on regulating their nervous system and getting out of that fight or flight mode and back into their bodies, back into a state of feeling at peace and feeling relaxed in their bodies. And you just cannot get to this state with your thinking logical mind and thinking your way into getting there or using willpower and force. It's really this combination of doing subconscious reprogramming work and nervous system regulation work. So these clients, they are really just feeling good already now without the movement. And that's why the movement happens so fast. They're not trying to get anything in the external world to make them feel better. They feel good already now. They're not in a rush to get their specific persons back. They're almost not even thinking about their specific person that much on a daily basis. And they're not trying to control the 3D reality. They're not posting any thirst traps. They're not trying to get their specific person's attention at all. I hope that this episode was helpful for you. I hope that you took some golden nuggets away from this. And I want to remind you that you're just one decision away. You're one decision away to feel better already now. It's really just an illusion that you need to wait for your specific person to reach out or you need to wait to see movement or even to get that relationship in order to feel better. You can decide to feel good already now. You're one decision away.